Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I hope you had a good weekend. Now, what I'm watching across the Caribbean, yes, we have been very dry. Here's why. I like to show you how everything is tied together, and you can see all these storm tracks, storm systems well up to the north. Of course, we don't get these giant fronts rolling through the Caribbean, but you remember about a month ago, we were seeing some really clipping us by, but you see how far north these storm tracks are, which means, simply put, not a huge change across the Caribbean yet, but I want to look down the road at kind of what I'm seeing long term through the month of March. We're almost into March and what we could expect in the rain department. So, so important for us across the uh, Caribbean elsewhere as well. So let me get into the forecast first and what I'm seeing. So this is today, this afternoon, and you see the green on the map. The green, that would be some rain. The yellow, a little bit in the way of heavier rain. There are the fronts, a tail end of a front from that storm system up to the north, staying generally to the north. Stray shower, Turks and Caicos, Southern Bahamas, passing shower Trinidad and Tobago and you see a little green every now and then on the map not much though as far as rain is concerned today if you get a shower passing variety by the way the white on the map that would be cloud cover now let's move forward into the week as we get you into your Tuesday let me stop it here three o'clock on our Tuesday and you see a few things picking up a few spots getting a higher chance of rain which is still more common for this time of year the southern storm track Guyana Suriname a better chance of rain tomorrow. Yes, some showers today, a better chance tomorrow. Not as much across Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, northern Venezuela, Colombia, passing shower, and a little green. Mexico, as you get toward Cancun, we could get one or two showers. Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama, but still limited with the exception here in Guyana and Suriname. This is by Wednesday getting ahead. Now, a chance of a passing shower Wednesday, Jamaica. Cayman Islands, uh, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. The chance, though, is low, but a small chance of a passing shower. St. Lucia, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, Barbados, Antigua, Barbuda, as we get over toward Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, passing shower, Dominica, but that higher chance south of Trinidad through Guyana and Suriname. Now, two-day rain totals mainly on the dry side. You see some of the brighter colors, though. Some of the purples, pink showing up in Guyana and Suriname. We'll have a few spots getting over 75 millimeters of rain, especially starting tomorrow into Wednesday. So a couple inches of rain, a little bit more in some spots. But you see how sparse it is because, again, those storm systems to the north. All right, let me break down the winds and what we can expect in that department. And another reason we're so dry, storm systems way to the north, high pressure and control, this H here. All you need to know about that is a lot of sinking air, so the showers and storms aren't bubbling up. Winds around it, you see it right here, clockwise. So again, more of that easterly flow as we're accustomed to across the Caribbean. A little bit windier, northern edge of uh, uh, Colombia, and as you get into the north coast of uh, Panama the next few days, generally the pattern staying the same with that easterly and then southeasterly breeze keeping us on the warm to hot side, Jamaica over toward parts of Mexico and Belize. And again, a little curl here with the winds as is common, and that means those higher seas as we get into the South Central Caribbean. Here are the seas later today, the wave heights for us. And you see here, nothing crazy. Always thinking of our captains out there, uh, but a little bit choppier, over three meters. Could see some of the, uh, in the, some of the wave heights uh, upwards of about 10, 12 feet in spots. Southern Caribbean, very settled though, across much of the Eastern Caribbean up through uh, Puerto Rico, uh, Dominican Republic, Haiti, not a lot of action. The Atlantic is a little more settled at this time. I'll monitor those seas throughout the week. Now, some forecasts for us, and then we'll look ahead real quickly. Belize, 82 today, and you see that rain chance? 20%. We swing back toward Jamaica, partly cloudy, monitoring those drought conditions, the water shortages, the water restrictions, wind south at 15 Tomorrow and Wednesday, as I showed you, again, a small chance of a passing shower, but very minimal, not nearly enough. Puerto Rico, a mainly dry day, nice little breeze out of the east as we go forward, 83 degrees, 28 degrees Celsius. Trinidad and Tobago, some dust around. A couple videos ago, I was tracking some of that dust. We will have a little dust around, a little bit more in the eastern Caribbean as we go throughout the week. Isolated shower, most south, but a passing shower possible. Wind southeast at 32 kilometers an hour, 29 degrees Celsius. So this is what I'm looking at as we go forward. Now, some areas of dust, as I mentioned, and I showed you that low chance of rain. 
Again, I mentioned why. Storm tracks to the north. High pressure in control. Next week, though, the rain chance bumps up a little bit. Not crazy, though, but a slightly better chance of rain. It does look like mid-March we'll see a more active pattern. Again, no huge blobs of rain, but gradually as we get into the middle of March, we'll at least have a better chance of rain. I also want to mention that I am looking ahead. We're about three months away from the start of the hurricane season, which is June 1st. Sometimes you get activity ahead of that, so I'm keeping an eye on the patterns. Looking forward to that seasonal forecast. I'll be giving the information on what I'm seeing for the upcoming hurricane season. So you, if you have interest in the tropics, in hurricane season, as I know many of us do, I appreciate you sharing this channel with others. I do that throughout the uh, season to keep us safe. I keep you updated on that. But anyway, until then, thank you for joining me. I'll watch the seas as we go throughout the week. I'll keep a very close eye on that rain chance and the dust. I hope you have a good day ahead.